Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and another Walkthrough Wednesday. I know this is three in a row. I have been very busy finishing off journals. There's the pink butterfly journal. There is the blue and yellow butterfly journal. Yes, I know I got on a butterfly kick. It's spring. What can I say? But this is something completely different and I have completed this hardcover journal. It is made from an old hymnal. It has a lace cover on the side and a hidden binding. It is two signatures. So there is, I'll show you the two signatures, one, two signatures. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a walkthrough of this today and make sure that it is where you can see it in the frame. So this was the, this hymnal was presented to the church by Leona Phelps and L.J. Frankie in memory of their sister, Mrs. Helen Gee. And I left that because I thought it was really cool. But I did put a place here for whoever purchases it. I also did not label it here. So whoever purchases it may fill that in however they wish. Reading one book is like eating one potato chip. Diane Duane. There are, this was the frontispiece of a, uh, an eighth grade reader. I had to think of which, which year it was. It was an eighth grade reader, and I really liked that. This, maybe I should, I, I've been referring this into my head as a book journal, but maybe a literary journal would be better. There's a, a book page here. Because books are the predominant theme. That's a cutout from a magazine. I guess there are never enough books. John Steinbeck. Some coffee dyed paper with a pattern on it. A cool flip. And this actually was the backing on a picture frame. We took the picture out of it. My husband wanted to use the, the bought it basically just for the frame. And this was the material on the back of it. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads lives only one. I'm not going to read all the quotes to you, but there are a lot of them in here. Little blue eyes, a little journal card there. So you can see there are a lot of places to journal in here. Um, this is the Chaparral Christmas gift and O. Henry. I took a lot of these pages out of that eighth grade reader. Another piece of coffee dyed paper. A room without books is like a body without a soul. The entire poem of trees is here by Joyce Kilmer. Um, one of my best friends in high school was, I uh, had the last name of Kilmer. And we always, whether she was related or not, I don't know. But I think she was, but I'm not entirely sure. In any case, we sang, as a freshman, we sang the song, I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. Although we did a version, I think that I shall never see a billboard lovely as a tree. This is from section two of the poetry. There's the courtship of Miles Standish in there. <laughs> this I just thought was cute. How to annoy by ant ant antagonize antagonize. A little place, another hidden place to write in there. As you can see, lots and lots of journaling spots in here. If you are preferred to sketch. There's some music paper and another additional spot to write. Uh, you can sketch, you can draw. I really like how that came out on the lined paper. Um, this is a larger journal card and a piece from, are you there God? It's me, Margaret. This is a flip with a very large journaling card. And then just a little tuck space here with a couple more. 
This is the center of the book. There are two journaling cards over here and a nice big bookmark over here because, you know, every good book needs a good bookmark. Two smaller spots here. If you don't like to read, you haven't found the right book. I love that penguin. I think that penguin is absolutely adorable. More places to write. Grave Mistakes by Paul Bearer. And a candle on and books. Books, books, and books. Never trust anyone who has not brought a book with them. Lemony Snicket. Belly band here with a couple more book, uh, a couple more journal cards in the book binding. Some paper that I lined, Flowers in the Crannied Wall by Alfred Tennyson and Evangeline. Evangeline was, uh, I'll remember in a minute. This one was from a book, um, and I, I don't remember the author. I'll have to look it up. I, maybe I'll put the author's name down here. But I loved what he wrote. I would almost go so far as to say that after a poem has been current for years and has found a place in many memories, not even its author has a right to alter it. He's going on and on about somebody who uh, chopped up a poem and rewrote poems. And he didn't like the fact that they were rewriting the poems. So this one is a really cool flip. So you have a space here and then a journal card that is actually a little uh, pamphlet in there. Then it flips open and there's another journal card here. Then it flips open and there's another journal, actually there's two journal cards hiding in there. And it flips open one more time and there's another journal card. So there are journal cards or places to hide. Keep in mind, if you purchase any of my journals, you can move the, card, the cards around as you see fit. I put them there so you see where there are places to put things. But this is a great place to hide hidden pieces of writing or to put photographs or receipts. Just all sorts of cool things. There's another spot here. James Russell Lowell got a full picture in that book. And to the dandelion, if you're in a spring mood, there's a piece of his poem there. There is more treasure in books than in all the pirates loot on Treasure Island, Walt Disney. Another flip here. Don't give up reading. The more you practice, the easier it will get. And I, I will tell you, um, I taught for many, many years. And students would write an essay, three paragraphs. They'd hand it in, um, just a short piece. Everyone, especially when they were freshmen, it was just a short piece. And I would take a look at it. And 30 seconds later, I would hand it back with feedback. And they would say to me, how did you read that so fast? Practice, practice, practice. I did it for a living. I read for a living. I read students' handwriting for a living. Do you know how hard it is to read students' handwriting, especially ninth graders? Oh, my glory. But I would read it and hand it back quickly because I, was, I practiced at it. Some of these are a little bit more whimsical. Some are very serious. This one's more whimsical. Outside, a outside of a dog, a book is a man's best friend. Inside of a dog, it's too dark to read. There's a little leaf paper clip here with a chapter seven little tag on the end. Oops, this one got stuck a little bit. The problem with books is that they end and we are very close to the end of this one. The more you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Dr. Seuss. As I said, this is a hardcover book. It is two signatures, so it is going to be a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones, than the single signature books. But it will be for sale on my coffee shop. So please make sure you take a look at the links below if you are interested in purchasing. All right, that's it for this Walkthrough Wednesday. This is Cindy signing off.